a warm welcome to everyone uh, about myself basically born and brought up in jammu then went to iit bhu for preparation of iit uh, after doing je preparation from kota into education from last 4 5 years i'm also heading uh, jg university for department of computing and ai also helping gandhinagar university developing an ai campus uh, i have two more co-founders with me uh, two more co-founders uh, vikas and ajay vikas is also iit bhu pass out and ajay is iit and i am ahmedabad alumnus last 3 4 years we taught almost 30000 plus kids in 50 plus cities we initially started with our own franchisee where we used to teach kids like cyber security data science ai but that was at a very high price point so we thought we were not able to reach to masses we are still over 10 lakh plus schools the annual fees less than 10000 the masses are not able to get education especially quality education in fact we were we received few awards we have also received awards from the times group i am the youngest times 40 under 40 we received award from economic times also now uh, the major question is coding important is ai important how the landscape is changing with the current trending so as per the nep the structure is that coding should be mandatory from class 6 onwards many educators say no we don't need to teach coding at a sung, uh, such young age the thought process behind is uh, in mit uh, us there was a lot of research done kids who learn coding and kids who don't learn coding kids who learn coding have both development of left and right brain that's why coding is made mandatory in most of the education institutions that see it as a development method for child now what has happened in edtech is abuse of this term coding every year we see coding 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 uh coding is just not writing a program or writing a set of instruction to computers uh i will take i have given the new slide just few minutes back okay i will take two examples one of my friend he has an mba from iim ahmedabad he has scored 100 percentile he ran from iit to iim just that he should not do technology while doing that in the campus placement jp morgan asked him we will give you a 1 crore package but you need to learn python the second example of medicine science one of my friend from bhu gold medalist she used to run uh, she used to learn forensics and more about dna when she went to iit gandhinagar for phd she was supposed to learn r for simulations now technology is everywhere irrespective of whatever in the industry you are going into for example if you are going into the healthcare industry it's getting automated with help of ai you are ge getting into banking industry apps is getting it digitalized so for our students 10 years 15 years down the line they will have digital career and they don't know paths which they will take so we need to prepare them for all these domains so what we did first of all we designed our own pedagogy taking in care of india most of the pedagogies that existed in india were referenced from code.org that is a us based education system that does not fit into our education system we created our own pedagogy for each class depending on the framework that cbse icse state boards follow and create a nep accordingly now the crux is classes 1 to 5 you just teach them pre coding now what is pre coding block based learning through scratch app inventor where they learn more about logics class 6 to 8 they learn all the fundamentals and from classes 9 to 12 they can specifically choose the streams in this now cbse and icse has come up with the initiatives also where in class 9th and 10th they can choose ai data science as board subjects also now major challenges for schools i have bifurcated into four chunks the first one is infrastructure every two years intel come up with new labs i3 i5 i7 as a student 30% of the students don't have access to computers back at home how they will code then as a teacher usually school needs to upskill the teachers and we know how much shortages of computer teachers the last part parents wants to see something tangible they want to see results what my kid has built so what we built is an ecosystem 
the first thing that we conceptualized was virtual labs. Your same computer lab can be used as an AI lab, data science lab, cybersecurity lab, networking lab for next 15 years. You don't have to spend a single penny on infrastructure. The second thing, we filed patents where kids can actually code in phone. Now they have interfaces in case they have to do assignments, assessments, everything can be done in phone. Then we partnered with NSDC to upskill the trainers. We conduct, train the trainer program throughout the country. We have around 50 plus centers. We have 20 plus offices in Gujarat, one in South Mumbai also, to train the teachers continuously. Because we need to upskill the teachers. Uh, we, use, uh, we used to do our own summits also where we invited almost 1000 plus principals last year. One big chain asked me, sir, we train our trainers, somebody else takes it. We told them, it's your responsibility to train the trainers. Then showing something tangible. Last year, we did an annual coding day in 30,000 plus students with almost 50 plus schools. Parents were able to see the projects, what kids are building, how they are learning, what is improvement they are getting in terms of performances. So we show something tangible to the stud uh, student as well as parent. Now we are also launching uh, this year, it's the first humanoid for kids. As you can see on right, its name is Indro. Uh, hi Indro. Now, another challenge for schools was robotics. Usually people used to play with small robotic kits, they don't need to see something tangible. We are putting this manufacturing in line, this is first of its kind in world. Kids will be actually making these robots and programming this. It's the first in world, so we are teaching actual robotics to the kids. At annual coding day, for example, this, this year the theme is, this robot will be dancing with the help of the code written by the kids. Now, the way school should incorporate coding is, is an integral curriculum. It should integrate with existing computers that they are teaching. Computer teachers need to be upskilled. Okay. Now, I will give a glimpse about what we have built. Uh, so, we have built in detailed lesson plan and pedagogy for all the classes. Uh, then we have these books, me and Vikas, my co-founder have co-authored our books. We have 0% royalty in these books. The aim was to get genuine AI books in the market. Then the thought process was to incorporate virtual labs in every school where the same computer lab can be used as a data science lab, AI lab, networking lab as well. You can have a real-time demonstration of what we are doing. We'll put an AI kiosk in front of the lab there. You can have a real-time interaction with our AI kiosk also. And this is how kids can go back home, now code in phone. 35% of the kids in tier one cities also don't have access to computers. How they will do an assignment when they don't have a personal computer back at home? We only have two classes, one of theory mostly, one of practical, which is happening for computers. So they need to have more screen time, they need to iterate, they need to build projects. That's more about innovation. Now, the last slide, why we do, are doing this? This is me and my co-founder Vikas. It's back from IIT BHU. We are teaching from last 10 years. We haven't raised a single penny. Everything is bootstrapped. We are not doing just for money. This is created by Santosh, you can come on stage. He is the one of the leading researchers doing from 20 years robotics. This is the first of kind in world. So we are putting real time educators out there, real time scientists who are building for the cause. That's all. Thank you.